Okay, we're going to do a video on changing the uh, transmission fluid. Are you coming into the video? <laughs> Come on then. Are you going to help me? Yeah. Right, I don't think anybody can see it. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. All right, say, so what, what do you want to say? Say, we're going to change the oil in the gearbox. We're going to change the oil in the gearbox. In the gearbox, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, you're getting heavy. I know. All right. Go ahead, my truck. I'm six years old. Uh, I'm six and a half. Six and a half, I know. Going on 12. Yeah, you're gonna hear a bunch of that basketball bouncing. <laughs> See, he's right here playing basketball. Um, but this car's been sitting here for almost two weeks now. Uh, I got to start it up. I'm gonna put it into, yeah, you know, probably third or fourth gear and just let it sit there for 10 minutes uh, just to warm up the transmission fluid. Uh, and then we're gonna put it up in the air. Drain the fluid out and then refill it with uh, Dextron 3. That's what uh, that's what this calls for. Uh, and then at the same time, I'm going to do I'm going to do the rear diff uh, uh, spill and fill as well. But there'll be separate videos. But I'll, I'm going to fill them all at once. So if you see me draining the diff as well as the transmission at the same time, it's I didn't screw up or something silly like that. Uh, I'm just I'm making multiple videos. So I just got this thing sitting on my lift. Uh, it's in third gear, doing about 25, 30 miles an hour. Uh, it's going to throw an ABS code and all that crap. Uh, but I, I'm going to see. Oh, there's my ABS code. Uh, what's it doing? Oh, 20. So it's just cruising at like 20. I'll let it run for about five minutes. Uh, it'll warm up all the fluid enough so where we can drain it and uh, uh, refill it. And the same with the diff. So. I'm too lazy to take it out and drive. Well, I don't actually. I don't really want to drive it because it's got uh, really worn rear tie rod ends. Uh, I haven't got those yet, so I got to get them swapped out. Uh, so its first drive is going to be right to the alignment shop. <laughs> I mean, I'll cut the turns and put them in and out as close as I can get them, but it's getting an alignment. All right, this car has been running for uh, about 10 minutes. Uh, all the ABS and traction control lights are on and st handling stability warnings are all over the dashboard. Uh, it's just because it was up in the air while it was running. Uh, I let it run for about 10, 15 minutes at 30. I, I ended up putting it in fourth gear and it was doing like 30 or something. Uh, no big deal. So we're going to do a diff oil change and also a transmission gearbox uh, fluid change. Uh, it's really easy. I took a quick, I stuck my head up there for like two minutes and I find all the, the plugs and everything. It's super easy. I'm going to try and get them on camera. Uh, I got a light here. So hopefully, hopefully this works for me. Um, so, okay, I'll orientate you. So this is the back of your, your C5 Corvette. And we're coming right in the middle. And right there is your diff fill plug. It's got a little tag on it. And then the diff drain is going to be right there uh, and they're both allen keys so so pretty easy stuff um, the transmission <clears throat> the uh, the transmission which is obviously you know bolted to your diff is if you come along here you'll find your uh, drain uh, plug right there it's a 3 8 hopefully I can get a light up in there and then the fill plugs on the other side which looks like a half inch uh, and it actually actually says fill uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to if you can see that or not it says fill right by that plug <laughs> super super easy uh, I just got a warning there Dextron 3 Dextron 3 ATF only which that's what I got of course so so this this is uh, a super simple jobs right a diff and a, and a transmission flush on these is very very easy a uh, couple of things you need to watch out for before you drain any fluid out of the diff or the transmission, you take the fill plug out. If you drain the fluid and then you go to remove the fill plug and you can't get it out, you're hooked. I mean, you are hooked. Uh, yeah, it depends what's wrong, right? Like if, if you stripped it out or if it just won't come out, uh, it, you know, there's ways around everything, right? Um, but just to avoid that headache, pull the fill plugs first. Always, 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 always. And once you get the full plug out, then you pull your drain plugs and you have to worry about it. Uh, the other thing is um, 
these I, I the like there's no dipsticks or anything so when you're trying to change the fluid on these you fill them up until it runs out of the, the side of the component so th like the transmission you just fill it up and fill it up and fill it up and once it starts pouring out like a steady stream put the put the plug back in you're done your car has to be level like if you're sitting on a freaking driveway and your car is facing up in the air and you do that uh, you're not going to have anywhere near the right amount of fluid in it uh, it'd be you wouldn't have enough in it. And then if you were facing the other way down a hill and you filled it up until it ran out, it'd be way over full and you'll blow the freaking transmission right out of it. <laughs> it has to be level. <laughs> so you can do this in your driveway. Just make sure the car is all four corners are up in the air the same height. Um, and you can even put a level on the frame. Uh, that's, that's where I think GM recommends you, you test it. Uh, it's just stick a level on the frame and make sure the car's not, not out of whack. Uh, you, you could get in some serious trouble if you were off by, you know, probably more than 10 degrees, 8, eight, eight plus degrees could, could kind of get you in trouble, so just, just be careful. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm going to set this up. That's my only warnings on the, these two jobs. Um, I'm going to point this up in, put a couple of lights in, hopefully it works, hopefully you can see. Uh, and then I'm just going to pull those uh, fill plugs, pull the drain plugs, and then, uh, 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 re refill both the transmission and the uh, and the rear diff. Oh, and I'll show you what I'm going to use for that because I'm super lazy. I have a, a Midivac. Midivac makes this. Um, it's a pressurized uh, filler. Uh, so basically, you take the top off, put whatever fluid in there you want, and then pump it up. The handle. I I normally put it up to like 15 psi or something, uh, and then you just you just flip this lever and it just whoosh, transfers all the fluid for you. Uh, you don't need to use a hand pump or anything like that. Um, can't remember how much that was. I'll be honest with you, I really just don't even remember. I've had it a long time. Uh, what's in there is rear gear oil for an F-150. So I'm gonna have to find a home for that because it's got the additive in it and everything. Uh, yeah, that, that's just in there from an F-150 that I rebuilt, I don't know, a couple of months ago. I did uh, rear axle seals, wheel bearings, pinion seals. Uh, I forget what all, rear shoes and all that stuff. So um, just basically a, a rear end rebuild on a, a F-150 and that's just a little leftover fluid. So we'll dump that out. I, I, I'll clean that bottle out with brake cleaner uh, so, and I'll clean out the hoses too uh, just so that we don't cross contaminate. And I'll do that while the uh, gearbox transmission and uh, diff oil is, uh, is draining. All right, enough talking. Let's do it. So uh, hopefully you guys can see, uh, this is all you're going to need, a uh, half inch ratchet for the fill plug, 3 eighths ratchet, and it's a 10 mil, uh, 10 mil Allen key for the, uh, uh, the uh, drain plug on, drain and fill plug on the um, rear diff. So, always grab your fill plugs first, don't forget that. Hopefully the lighting's okay. I got a light kind of here and that it's hard for me to tell on the little screen. Ah. My bad, the fill plug on the transmission's uh, three eighths. It just looked like half inch for some reason. I couldn't I couldn't really see it with the angle, so that's my excuse. and pull the fill plug out of the diff. some pretty nasty looking diff oil. Uh, I'm going to pull the fill plug now and it'll, it'll run out a lot smoother. Ah, 
they don't have a magnet in them, which is uh, surprising. Uh, but that defoil is nasty. Holy crap, is it nasty. Uh, I'm going to clean these up with brake cleaner. That's disgusting. So I got my um, drain plug and the uh, uh, fill plug all cleaned up there with brake cleaner. Uh, they don't have any metal or magnetic uh, inserts in them, so I guess whatever, if there's any metal shavings, they just come out, I guess. Uh, but this is, uh, this is what I use when I, when I put those back in. Uh, it's called Indian Head. It's uh, kind of like a thread sealant. Uh, it's, it's really good stuff. Um, it says head gasket shellac on it, but it's really, uh, really, really good for doing any kind of like uh, you know, large threaded um, plugs like that, uh, like fill plugs and, and whatnot. Um, won't, won't seize it up. It's, you know, it's not like, a, it's not like thread locker, um, but it gives it a, a really good uh, seal. So you, you'll never get a leak if you, if you use stuff like this. It's, it's just pretty good. You can get it at the advanced auto. Yeah, I don't think that diff oil had been changed in quite some time. I'll, I'll show you this. So I, I did clean up my uh, my drain bung there. Or drain, yeah, drain bung. And you don't need a lot of this stuff. So it has this big... Uh, big sponge in the end of it. Now you just want to hit, hit the threads with it. Um, I don't even hit them all. I just do like half of it. Uh, when you run it in, it'll get where it needs to go. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good stuff. Uh, yeah, you ready to go back in? I'll look up the torque specs on those, and we'll torque everything when we're done. Uh, right now, it's just it's just tight, no more. Oh, that one was tight. Try not to let this get you. So the uh, the trans oil looks pretty good. It does smell a little burnt though. So uh, I'm not sure. You know, I don't have any history on this, so. Nobody knows when uh, when the last time it was changed, so it's a good peace of mind. Just just do it. Just change it. Right, I'm gonna show you guys how this works. I got it all cleaned out, uh, inside and out with brake clean. Uh, it's a little messy because you stick your arm in there. You always end up with a little <laughs> gear oil or whatever is in there on your arm, but uh, no big deal. Uh, this is Dextron th Dextron three, which is what that guy calls for. I think it takes like three and a half quarts or something. So we're just going to put all four in here and then uh, fill it up till it runs out. And then whatever's left, we'll put back into one of these bottles. But this, this little tool, I mean, it really makes this job a lot easier. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it saves you having to change over from bottle to bottle with a hand pump. Uh, yeah, it's just easier. And better. And it's probably worth whatever I I spent on this. I mean, I honestly don't remember. Beer time, Stella. 
Yeah, I don't quite remember what I paid for it. I think it was less than 100 bucks, but I'm sure you can look it up online. Come on. <clears throat> Last one. So here's your this is your cord mark right there, so it's that's almost four quarts. I think it takes three and a half, so. Get your pump, drop your pump in. You want to make sure this is nice and tight because you need an airtight seal, right? There's a rubber O-ring in there. Let's see if you can hold pressure. Yep, there's 10 PSI already. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is purge the gear oil out of this line. Um, these all come with uh, uh, quick fittings. So you can just pop this in, open it up. I'm going to dump the gear oil that's in the line into my uh, my bin. And once we get gear oil come, or transmission oil coming to the end, we'll shut the valve off, stick it in the transmission. Pretty simple stuff. All right, so I'm just going to purge this uh, this line from my fluid uh, dispenser. You guys will see it change there in a second. So there you go. So once I get transmission fluid um, coming out of the tip, we're good to go. So this literally just goes into the fill plug, open the valve up, and wait until it, until it starts running nice. And then you're good to go. Uh, don't forget to get a rag because you know it's going to spill. Uh, my lift doesn't go up high enough for me to uh, put that. Fill it and put that tray back there. So we're gonna get a couple of rags. We're gonna have our uh, our uh, fill plug ready, and we're gonna put our shellac on it. Okay. So our fill plug is ready to go. So once we get a nice steady stream. We can just uh, insert this and tighten it up. Hopefully this works out. Hopefully you guys can see it. And th this is why I got this tool. It makes doing this so much easier, you know? Uh, you can just put it right in and then open this valve and that's it. You're done. I don't know if you can see from there the bottle, but yeah, it, it's firing in uh, ATF there. So super easy. Hands-free operation too. <clears throat> yeah, so I mean, that's it. It's filling. Uh, it's uh, ATF's pretty watery, so it goes fairly quick. Uh, it's got about a quarter of a quart in there already. Uh, gear oil is real heavy and thick. So when, it, when you're doing the diff, it kind of dribbles out. I mean, you can pump the pressure up and get it to go a little quicker. Uh, I'm not in a hurry, so. The ATF, though, it, it fires it in there, so. Uh, I'll turn this off and then let's turn it back on when it's done. So we've got less than a quart to go. I just hope we got enough. We should have. I looked it up. It said it was less than four quarts to fill it, so. Cross. Yup, thing guys. And again, 
name. We'll throw those here. But, uh, I even caught most of my drips. So it took about three, about three and a half quarts to to fill that. So if you're uh, yeah, if you're doing this at home or whatever, uh, you should be totally fine with um, four quarts of uh, Dextron 3. Uh, so I'm, I gotta look up torque specs and stuff for those, and then I'm gonna clean out this bottle and do the uh, rear diff oil next. Holy crap, I just looked up the um, torque settings for the fill and the, uh, the drain plug on the trans, and they want it at 20 foot pounds. GM per GM, they wanted it 20 foot pines. Holy shit, that seems a little excessive for me for a a, a, a fill plug and a, a drain plug. But I, I'm gonna just see what it feels like. I'm not sure I'm gonna give it all that, all 20. Just that uh, that seems a little excessive. But we'll see what it feels like. You know what? Don't feel bad at all. Just listen for it. That's uh, 19.4. There we go. 19.8. Close enough. Uh, I'll tell you what though. My drain is 21.6 and my fill is 19.8. Good enough. So we have our gear oil. That uh, bottle's all cleaned. Now we got gear oil. I just sprayed the whole bottle out with brake cleaner. It was spotless. You definitely don't want to cross contaminate. Yeah, ATF and gear oil. <coughs> um, we're going to do the same thing. This has a little bit of uh, ATF in it. We're going to insert it, we're going to open our valve, and we're just going to run gear oil to the tip. So now you should see a goldish color there coming through, hopefully. And we're right there. That's it. So we're getting gear oil at the tip. That's it. Ready to go. And same process as the, the gearbox, so the transmission. We're just gonna pump this up and fill it up until it runs out. Uh, I, always, I put a little bit of extra pressure when I'm doing gear oil because it's this stuff's so thick. I'm at uh, about 18 psi. We'll go to 20. We'll try and get this thing to speed up a little. There you go. There's 20. Uh, same process as before. You just put your tip in, put your tip in, <laughs> uh, put your hose in, open the valve, done. Uh, it's firing gear oil in there. So, you know, wait until it drips out. Same deal. Hey, hey there he is. You coming to help? Yeah. Yeah? Can you do video? Yeah, look, video is on. He's saying hi. Oh, curl, curl, stop, stop, curl. You almost knocked this over. What? What? This, this beer. Uh. It's right by your feet. Look at what we're doing. We're putting oil into this rear diff right here. See it? Yeah. See that big hole up there? That's where we're putting this oil right here. Isaac's a teenager. <laughs> Isaac's a teenager. Uh huh. What if he could do this by himself? I'm sure he could. He, he does a lot of work on cars. I know. He has his very own truck and he works on Mr. Carey's truck. That's right. Barely. Yeah, well, Mr. Carey's truck doesn't need too much stuff. Yeah. yeah. But his truck needs a bunch of stuff. All the time, right? Mm -hmm. Probably needs like two more exhausts to quiet at night. Sure. <laughs> How about 20 more? 20 more? So this in here is diff oil. Okay. And this diff oil is special diff oil for 
this type of diff, it's, called, it's got an additive in it. Because oh. inside this diff, it has these clutch packs. And it's what's called a limited slip diff. Mm -hmm. That way, when you give it the beans and you try and spin the tires, and both tires spin at the same time. Oh yeah. We make a smoke show, right? Remember we did donuts in that FRS? <laughs> <laughs> you should tell the people. Tell the camera about that time. Tell the YouTube about the time we took we went drifting. So the time we went drifting, we ate some donuts in the car. We ate some donuts? No, we did some donuts. Oh. <laughs> Like it was a we black ate donuts. <laughs> you remember going around in circles with the tires spinning and the smoke everywhere? Oh. Remember that? That's called doing donuts. Well, we did donuts. Dr drifting donuts. No, I didn't eat donuts. <laughs> <laughs> we drifted. We drifted donuts and burnt the tires. Oh, up, right? and it was black hole. It, yeah. It was a. It was an FRS. FRS. Wait, we're getting, we already have an FRS. No, we no. sold the FRS, remember? Because Daddy was going to get in trouble with it. Why? Because <laughs> I was always drifting it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That took every bit of two quarts. I, uh, I wasn't sure we were going to make it there. Well, yeah. We had air bubbles coming into the diff, you know, because this thing you got to tilt a little bit to get it all out. Uh, that was close. Oh, you can even see. You can see the air bubbles in the line. I mean, that's how that's how close we were. Uh, but it took all all two quarts. <clears throat> yeah, that was uh, that was a close one. Okay, so the rear diff is also twenty foot pounds. Go figure. I should have just taken a guess at that. Uh, but we're going twenty. Wow, it's probably say dying. Twenty foot pounds. Wow. I did 23 on the, the drain. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Shame on me. Okay, so that's how you change the transmission gearbox uh, fluid in your C5 and also the rear diff oil in your C5. Uh, my rear diff oil was nasty. Uh, quite surprised there's not a magnet built into that drain under a fill plug. Normally the drain plugs were there. Uh, so, I mean, you just get out what you get out. Uh, and same, same for the transmission. Didn't have any kind of magnets or anything in there. Or maybe they're inside it and I don't know, you know, I didn't look it up. Um, I'll show you the finished, uh, the finished product. Let me grab my light. Oh! Okay, so, whoop. Okay, so the fill plug is back on. It's set to uh, 20 foot pounds. Same for your drain plug, same for the transmission drain plug, and the same for the transmission fill plug, which I have not cleaned off yet. <laughs> I just put it in. I haven't cleaned any of this off yet. Um, what I'll do is go. Uh, what I'll do is go around it with some brake cleaner, clean them all off. I like to check them after a few hundred miles. And then the other thing that GM wants you to do uh, after you do the diff oil. Uh, they want you to uh, go easy on it for 300 miles. Uh, they, they do recommend taking it to a parking lot and doing figure eights. Uh, just, you know, running around the parking lot in figure eights to work all that rear diff oil into the clutch packs. Um, they, there is a warning on that procedure that if you, uh, if you, you know, go nuts right after doing a, a diff oil change, you can get a whine in the, out of the rear diff. So, take that for what it is. They want you to go do figure eights and, and no wide open throttle for 300 miles. So, take that into consideration if you're doing this. How much beer did you drink today? Mm. Two? <laughs> <laughs> no, one, right? Mm. You, one capful of beer, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Two whole You can't set beer down this guy. I'll drink it on you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good answer. Whenever. Uh, you're a chancer. Like if you gave me the beer instead of Abby, 
I just want to be okay. <laughs> when we go to parties, we have to keep an eye on him because he'll pick beer up and drink it. <laughs> the nut does not fall far from the tree. <laughs> Say bye. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. YouTube. There you go. Say bye to the people. Bye, people. Bye to the people. Bye, people.